identity security is a significant concern for organizations, particularly in today's digital age. Cyber criminals are constantly devising new and sophisticated ways to steal sensitive data, such as usernames, passwords, and other personal information, which can lead to identity theft, financial fraud, and other security breaches. Hello and welcome to VAR India News Hour. The findings of a global survey that explores trends in identity, security adoption, and the relative maturity of organizations embarking on related strategies results show that only 9% of organizations are taking an agile, holistic, and mature approach to securing identities throughout their hybrid and multi-cloud environments. The report features on identity security maturity model to help cybersecurity leaders assess their current strategies, uncover risks, and take steps to strengthen cyber resilience as per the report of CyberR. Experts recognize identity security as critical part for cyber resilience. Strategy and outcome gap. 60% of Indian respondents believe they are making correct identity security related decisions. The gap highlights the perception that overall security can be achieved by making the right technology investments. But that is only part of the story. Strategically maximizing those investments to include implementation and integration with existing environments, breaking down silos and improved training are equally important. Disparate endpoint data. 98% of Indian respondents believe that endpoint security or device trust and identity management are essential to a robust zero trust strategy and 47% believe that the ability to correlate data is critical for effectively securing endpoints. Fragmented efforts. 58% of organizations globally have two teams responsible for securing identities in the cloud and on-premises and rely on numerous point solutions, making it difficult to understand their real-time security posture. This research uncovers the relationship between a strong identity security strategy and enhanced business outcomes. More frequent and timely maturity assessments can help ensure the right users have access to the right data and that organizations can act quickly enough to stop threats before they stop business. While 98% of organizations in India admit to being a victim of identity-based attacks, this percentage is likely much higher as adversaries continue to successfully target and compromise identities at scale. To mitigate these risks, organizations must implement robust identity security policies regularly train employees on best security practices and leverage advanced security technologies such as multi-factor authentication, encryption, and access controls. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. CCI conducting enquiries against big tech companies. The government says that the Competition Commission is conducting enquiries against Amazon, Flipkart, Zomato, Swiggy, Bookmyshow, Apple, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Google for alleged anti-competitive practices. In a written reply in the Rajya Sabha, the Finance and Corporate Affairs Minister Nirmala Sitharaman said that CCI, after conducting enquiries in three different cases, passed orders in the matter related to Google on January 31, 2018, October 20, 2022, and October 25, 2022. NPCI chief said investment is needed for UPI to reach 3 billion transactions a day. Unified Payments Interface, which is expected to touch a 10x growth of 3 billion transactions a day, needs more investments both on the customer and the merchant side. NPCI CEO Dilip Asbe said, according to him, to sustain and feed the massive growth of transactions in UPI, there are 600 million eligible customers and close to 100 million merchants outside the digital payments ecosystem who need to come in. Southern Railways official Facebook account hacked. Southern Railway said that its official Facebook page was hacked by unknown sources who put up offensive posts. The page was hacked on Tuesday and a few offensive posts were shared by the hacker. It said 
that with the unstained support from the Ministry of Railways, the Ministry of Electronics and IT and Facebook officials, the Southern Railway Facebook account has been successfully restored thereafter. Mobile PLI schemes investment hits 5,124 crore rupees till December. Minister of State for Electronics and IT Rajiv Chandrasekhar said that the cumulative investment under the production-linked incentive scheme to boost mobile manufacturing has increased to 5,124 crore rupees till December from the 3,726 crore rupees target set earlier for the current fiscal. The cumulative investment target for the entire scheme period is 7,000 crore rupees. The government has set a target to achieve production of Rs 8.12 lakh crore to boost mobile phone manufacturing. SEBI comes up with cyber security norms for portfolio managers. Capital Markets Regulator SEBI has come out with a cyber security framework for all portfolio managers having an asset base of at least Rs 3,000 crore. The new guidelines will come into force from October 1, 2023. Under the framework, CB asks portfolio managers to report all cyber attacks and breaches experienced by them within six hours of detecting such incidents. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Var India News Magazine. You can download the Var India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.